allegations against me. Right Honorable Speaker, how does, if I can ask, how does alteration of boundaries or creation of districts or administrative units in Zimbabwe district threaten the Honorable Member and her family or cause political chaos in that district? I am aware that some of you, my colleagues, you are waiting at an opportunity when Article 1794 will come whether 2025 to have creations of new units in your areas and I will be supportive. For the, for the record, right honorable speaker, I want to say immediately after our elections, honorable colleagues, this is not something that is just coming up today. These are regulations have been made in 2021, similar ones before the Minister of Security and the government chief whip. By then, you are safe, right, honorable speaker. We were invited, all the members from the MPs from the district. I made my, my, my case. And you, with the right, with the honorable minister of security, you were guided that the honorable Mary Begumisa should find how to work in harmony with the rest of the members from that district. Furthermore, in 2021, the Honorable Member alleged that her upcountry home was under attack. Police carried out investigations. And it was established that the person, the attacker, is a mental person. Very mad, and her neighbor. And there is evidence in the police. On the 2nd of November, 2021, the Honorable Member wrote to the right Honorable Speaker, asking the Speaker to define for the role of the Woman Member of Parliament vis-à-vis -vis the role of a constituent MP. Right Honorable Speaker, Honorable colleagues, roles of Members of Parliament are well defined in the Constitution. It's therefore not necessary for the Honorable Member to request the Speaker to do research and to interpret the role. The allegations made in that letter were established that they were null and void because, again, I defended myself before the right honorable speaker. And I am sure the, the, the allegation that I am the one who should have caused insecurity because of me being a constituent and the other one is the role to be that is defined by the constitution. Right honorable speaker, honorable colleagues, my short background as I finalize. I participated in the 1995 constitution making process. Yeah. I have been in this august house for over a period of 20 years consecutively. I have represented this august house at the Pan, at the Pan African Parliament for a period of five years. I have represented Pan-African Parliament at both African Union and the UN forums on issues of gender and human rights. I was a district local council speaker in 1990s. I am a seasoned, I am a seasoned politician. I'm a seasoned politician. Yes, Honorable colleagues, Honorable colleagues, this long record of my legislative profile is a testimony that I am well conversant with both the legislative role and local government procedures. At no single time of my tenure have I witnessed making a personal statement. In conclusion, the current allegations of the Honorable Member are not new. They are not backed by evidence. They are speculative, as I said. They are only calculated to attract sympathy and to cause tension between us, the two members. Honorable Members, the issue is not an issue that should have been brought under the issues of national importance because in 
Sembabure district. There are so many issues of concern that the member should have used an opportunity to raise in this August House. My prayers. Right, Honorable Speaker, Honorable colleagues. My prayers, one. Matters which had four courts of law should be left to run their own course for justice to prevail. Number two. Other matters raised should be thoroughly investigated and for all and once so that this matter is put at rest. Finally, my prayer is, it's my humble prayer that honorable colleagues will strive for coherence and harmony in our respective constituencies. Once again, right honorable speaker, honorable colleagues, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you. Thank you.